Hey there, good morning everyone. It's JD uh, Smart Cleaner and it's pretty early morning where I am and it's super cold. It's one of the coldest days of the year. Um, but I got up super early this morning because I had some stuff on my mind and I uh, wanted to share it with you. And uh, you know, something that uh, that I, a message I keep getting over and over again from cleaning business owners um, that I wanted to chat about. Um, and so, you know, it's okay to fail or have failures in your cleaning business. It's completely okay, um, you know, but it's not okay to learn from them and to make changes based upon those failures. Um, one of the biggest uh, obstacles I see cleaning business owners put in front of themselves day after day, week after week, month after month is their inability to change their mindset and with that their inability to remove the obstacles or change the issues that are preventing them from having the type of business that they want right because when you start a business you don't just want a job you know when you start a cleaning business you you're you don't just want a cleaning business you want a successful cleaning business right there's only, there's only one word that's different in those sentences, right? You don't just want a cleaning business and you don't want just want a job. You want a successful cleaning business, right? Same as if you had a job, you would want a successful job, right? So, um, <laughs> you know, you may be the best cleaner in the world. You may be, you know, an amazing cleaner. You may do an incredible job cleaning buildings. It doesn't make you the best business owner in the world, right? And there's a massive disconnect there for a lot of cleaning business owners is that mindset, you know, of, I know I can clean houses. Um, why can't my staff do as good a job as I can? Or why can't I get more clients? Or why isn't my business more successful? I know I'm good at cleaning houses because you're good at cleaning houses. You're not successful at running a business. And that's strictly a mindset thing, right? Because those obstacles that are in the way that are preventing you from having the type of successful business you want, you're not changing that. You're not removing those obstacles, right? And, and like I said, it's okay to have failures in your business, in your cleaning business. It's not okay to do nothing about that or to learn from it or to make the necessary changes to take you to the next level in your business. As soon as you remove the obstacles in your business, whether it's staffing or getting more clients uh, or whatever it is, um, that's when you can go to the next level with your business. You know, and, and you hear me saying this all the time. I, I know I say it all the time. Einstein said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result, right? If I was, if I wanted to launch a rocket and land on the moon. Um, would I try and do that on my own and expect to be successful at that? Right. And I, I know that's a, a pretty strong analogy compared to a cleaning business, but really it's not. And I'll tell you why it's not. It's because they require uh, the same strategies to be successful in order for you to land that rocket on, on the moon. And in order for you to have your dream, cleaning business that doesn't have as much stress, that doesn't have as many obstacles and that provides a great income for you and your family and your staff and has a great reputation, uh, it requires a specific strategy. And if you're not achieving that right now, um, my suggestion is, is that you don't have a strategy in place that can help you be the best cleaning business owner. You know, you're, it, you, like I said, you may be the best cleaner. You may believe you're a great cleaner and a phenomenal cleaner. Uh, now you just need to be a great business owner and a phenomenal business owner, right? If I was going to try and launch a rocket and put it on the moon, I would surround myself with a team of experts to make sure that I was successful at that, right? Because uh, I, I may be good at one part of that process and it may be, um, you know, uh, 
I, I may be a great aviator. I may be able to fly planes and I love being up in space and all that stuff. It doesn't mean that I know how to build the airplane or the rocket that will get me there, right? So I would surround myself with, you know, scientists and experts, avia other aviation experts, right? And, and people like that to make sure that the strategy we're putting in place is going to work. It's going to get us to the moon. The same thing applies with your cleaning business. You weren't meant to face all the challenges of building a successful cleaning business on your own, right? Again, you may be an expert cleaner. Um, so imagine if you partnered or surrounded yourself with experts in the other elements of having a successful business like marketing or strategy, right? Or training, right? Or growth and scaling your sales. Imagine if you surrounded yourself with experts um, in, in that element of your business, what your business would look like in 12 months, right? Because we all know cleaning businesses have the potential to grow really fast when all the right elements are in place. You know, if I use even myself as an example, my very first cleaning business, I was able to grow to $330,000 approximately in eight months. In eight months, right? A lot of that came, didn't come because I was an expert business owner. A lot of it came because I was a hard worker. Um, but really, it only happened because I did surround myself with experts. There was a point in that eight months where I said, I need help. And I put my hand up and said, hey, um, you know, I need some experts. I need somebody to help me to figure out my staffing problem. I need somebody to help me figure out my sales and marketing problem so that I can grow and scale my business in a predictable fashion. I knew once I could solve those two problems, my staffing issues, right, and have a successful staffing strategy in place and a successful uh, sales uh, scaling and growth strategy in place and married those two things together, I knew along with my work ethic and how hard I, I, I would work at it and how great a cleaner I was that there were no limits for me then, right? The, the ceiling was removed for me and I could blow through that and have any kind of income I wanted. So in the first four months of my business, there was just a lot of hard work. There was a lot of failure in that hard work because I was doing a lot of things wrong in terms of bringing staff on and bringing clients on. I had no process, I had no infrastructure, right? I was just kind of winging it. Um, and you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't wing it, right? Like you really shouldn't wing it because there isn't a lot of success in that. There's a lot of things that fall down in that process and break and go wrong and, and go sideways. Um, and, and I would say probably better than 80, maybe even 90% of cleaning business owners are trying to wing it, right? They know they're great cleaners and so they're just going to keep running forward, but you hear them keep complaining about the obstacles, about staffing issues and not enough clients. And I don't know how to do sales and marketing. I can't figure Facebook out. Um, how do I get better staff? How do I find staff? You know, how do I attract people to my business? Um, I, I had a conversation with a lady in one of the other cleaning groups recently and uh, uh, staffing was a problem for her. And it wasn't that she was finding crappy staff. She just couldn't find any staff. Um, and so when you think about that, you know, you could just throw your hands up in the air and give up, right? But that's not a solution to the problem, right? Um, with every problem, there's an opportunity for success. You just have to figure out what the path is to that. So for her, um, you know, for me, my way of thinking is, well, maybe there's some great cleaners out there that don't know that they want to work as a cleaner yet, right? They may be great in another service industry. They may be working in a coffee shop or they may be working in a restaurant somewhere or they may be working um, doing some other type of job and they don't know they're a great cleaner yet and they don't know that they should be working for you yet, right? Because the way you're putting your business out there, advertising, you know, your, your for hire or looking for help ad may not be built in a way that would attract someone and say, Hey, that, that seems like a great company to work for. You know, I, I could probably be a good cleaner. I'm good at this and attract people from other industries to your business. Right. It's all in your messaging, right? How she's speaking. She was speaking to, she was looking for cleaners 
She was looking for cleaners, people that had experience cleaning. She wasn't necessarily looking for people that had a lot of enthusiasm and were hard workers and could train them to become a cleaner. So that's where an opportunity for her is to open the door to her business to people like that. Well, how does she do that? How do you do that? It's in your messaging, right? But then it's in your delivery after that. You know, you have to be a business that people will seek out and want to work for, right? Is your business, when people look at your business, does it look like the best opportunity for them? Does it look like a career or is it just a job? Is it just a crappy job, right? right? So there's an opportunity for her to open a door to a whole market of employees she didn't even know were out there. And so it's just about having good solutions to those problems. Can you do that on your own? I don't know. I mean, I, I know the kind of worker I am. I'm a great worker, um, but I was lacking in business skills, so I knew I couldn't do it on my own. So I, I surrounded myself with experts, marketing experts, with coaches, mentors, people that could help me on that journey. Um, and, and that's where I knew my success uh, was positioned. As a result of that, I've been able to do this over and over and over again for myself and do it for other business owners at the same time. Um, and, you know, if you're, if you go into a cleaning business and you have a vision in your head, you know, of having lots of money and freedom and, and a great quality of life as a result. And if that is not happening for you currently, here's the good news is that's an advertisement to you that you need to make a change, that you need to make a shift in your mindset because that's all it is. It's just a mindset thing. It's just making a decision and saying, I'm going to surround myself with experts that can help me remove these obstacles and get to the next level, right? I'm not going to try and figure it out on my own because there is only 24 hours in a day. And if you have a family and you like to sleep, um, there's not enough hours in the day, trust me. Uh, and we all know that cleaning business can be stressful and it's a lot of work and it's physical and you know, you're trying to balance a lot of things. Um, you know, but on the, on, on the other side of that, when you do surround yourself with people like that, that can help you propel your business forward and achieve the success that you were thinking about when you started it, you know, the vision you had, um, of more money, you have more freedom and a great quality of life for you and your family. That's on the other side of that. When you change your mindset and just say, I'm going to do this, right? I'm going to, I'm going to surround myself with people that can help me with my business, become a better cleaning business operator and have the real success that you want, right? So it's okay to fail in your cleaning business, but again, it's not okay to learn from that and to make the necessary changes. You know, those failures, if you keep having them over and over again, eventually something's going to give, right? Eventually something's going to give. Either you're going to get fed up and walk away or you're going to lose your staff. You're going to lose your clients and then you don't have a business anymore. So change your mindset, you know, think about embracing the concept of surrounding yourself with people that can help you solve problems immediately, as opposed to you spending the next two years, three years, four years, five years, trying to solve them yourself. Um, another lady that I've spoken to that's been in the cleaning business for 17 years, and she's ready to completely walk away from it because she still has the same issues and the same problems that she's had for 17 years and the stress and her capacity to deal with that um, has, has gone away. Um, and, and that's what happens, right? That's what happens. It just becomes too much, becomes too much of a burden for you to carry every day. Um, and, but the good news is, um, there are solutions to this, right? Success is on the other side of changing your mindset. Anyway, um, that's all I have to say this morning. Like I said, it was just something that was pressing on my mind through the night. So I thought I'd get up this morning and talk about that and talk about, you know, um, that it's okay to fail. Um, but you have to learn from that. You have to make shifts and changes, um, from those obstacles and failures you see in your business. And once you embrace that, change your mindset, start embracing that and taking that action with your business, 
success is on the other side of that for you. A better quality of life, right? More freedom, more money. All those good things are on the other side of that. Anyways, I hope this has served you well this morning. And uh, even if you take a little tidbit out of it and start working on changing your mindset and, and, and developing a mindset that is about success, um, you know, I hope that's what you take away from it. Have a great day. Everybody have a great Sunday and uh, I hope you have an amazing week coming up um, and hope uh, you start taking your business to the next level every single day.